Hello everyone, welcome back to Ghost Paper. Welcome back to another mini tutorial session here on Procreate 5. And for today's video, we're actually going to take a look on how to import Photoshop brushes into Procreate. This is, a, this is something that I've actually covered on in one of my last videos, which is a video that I've made about five hidden tips and features on Procreate 5, meaning that these are things that exist on Procreate 5, but they're not really easy to find. And uh, I, I just think that this being like in that video and it's one of the last tips of that video, uh, not a lot of people may have had the chance to watch or actually know a little bit more about this. So I've decided to make a standalone video on how to actually import Photoshop brushes into Procreate. So let's just get right into this tip. So first I'm just gonna go back or into our empty file here and I'm going to show you, uh, in case you actually don't know as well, there are multiple ways to actually import brushes into Procreate. However, there are ways here that Photoshop brushes cannot be imported into Procreate. So first I'm going to show you the most conventional method to import brushes, and that is unfortunately a method that doesn't really work in Procreate when importing Photoshop brushes. So we're just gonna go first into the brushes menu, and then we have the plus sign, and that allows us to go into the Brush Studio. So here on the Brush Studio, I'm gonna hit Import, just as we would normally use to actually import brushes. And as you can see, my Photoshop brush here that I'm going to try to import is actually, the icon is darker, meaning I can't really click on it and I can't really import it. So if I go here into my Procreate folder and one of the Procreate brush packs that I've actually created, the Neon Brush Set, I can totally import this brush. As you can see, the icon is completely opaque and is available for me to actually import it. But this is not what this lesson is about. So this is the method that actually doesn't work. So now let me show you how you can actually import Photoshop brushes into Procreate. So we're gonna hit cancel here and we're also gonna hit cancel on the brush studio so that we're back here on our file. So now I'm gonna rest my pen right here and I'm going to evoke my uh, Dropbox I'm gonna just set it here on the right side of the Y on the iPad. So meaning now I have my Procreate on the left side and I have Dropbox on the right side. Now we are on the same folder that we were on the Brush Studio. You see here my stippling brush, ABR, meaning it's a Photoshop brush. And that is on my Dropbox. I'm going to tap once. And then there are a few options. There's no preview, but I can click on these three dots here at the top right section of the Y on Dropbox and I have the option export. So we're gonna tap into export and now we're going to scroll all the way to copy to Procreate. And now if I click on it, you see that Procreate, Procreate actually imports the Photoshop brush onto um, Procreate here. So I'm just going to now close. So we're back here on Procreate. And now if I click on this new folder, I have the stippling, stippling brush now imported into Procreate. And I can you know, draw with this new brush I can increase the size a little bit. And uh, right now, you know, it's just a, a very common stippling brush. But this is the beauty about importing even Photoshop brushes into Procreate. We can now have back into the Brush Studio and we can make changes to a brush that we have imported from Photoshop. And this is also something super, super awesome. We can play with the spacing like this. We can, we can add streamline to a Photoshop brush. We can have fall off which is almost like running out of ink effect. We can go on the shape of this brush. We can increase the count. We can randomize it. Uh, there, you can add a little bit of jitter and you know play with the scatter. And you can even update the shape of something you have imported from uh, Photoshop. You can also, for example, go into color dynamics and let's just add some really cool color dynamics to this brush. And now if I hit done and go back here into Procreate, we have tweaked a brush from Photoshop all the way here inside Procreate and we're not really leaving Procreate. So you can tweak brushes from Photoshop, you can definitely import brushes from Photoshop and that really expands the level of freedom you can have in Procreate by now being able to also import Photoshop brushes. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did a like would be super appreciated as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any tips and tricks, reviews, speed paint videos, 
and that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Now, if you are interested to learn a little bit more about brushes, please check the video that is on the right side of the screen right now, as it talks about how to actually build a pixel art brush set, which is one of my latest videos, and I had a lot of fun actually creating this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.